Okay, so in this video we're going to be doing a decarbonization using water. Well, I'm actually using a, a, a cleaning fluid this time. But um, a subscriber asked me, because it's a little bit different on these cars. So just lift it up, as you can see, and uh, remove some pipes that just go under the underneath of the actual filter itself. Now, when you're doing these sort of cars, um, you have to get it into the intake, the throttle body, what you might call it. Um, it's, it's, it's not difficult, but it's different to the other video, so I'm showing you. So now here is the throttle body or the air intake. If you look closely in there, you can see how dirty it is. See when I rub my finger, that's, that's how dirty, dirty it is in there. Now what I actually do in this video is I use a slightly different cleaning fluid. Um, a friend of mine got it for me. I will get the name so you lot can actually um, buy it or order it or whatever you want to do. But um, just take a note of how dirty it was in there and um, we'll get back to that afterwards. Now, as usual, um, once you've got your air filter off, start your car, as I've just done just then. Now, this car had a little bit of a rough idle, as you could see, um, you know, so I was trying to help it out. Now, I know this car has a lumbar sensor issue, so that could be one of the problems. Now, with your fluid and it at a fairly decent revs, just, just, just spray in the, um, the cleaner inside the, um, the actual throttle body itself. Just take your time, make sure not to kill the engine, don't put too much in it, but you know, just, just gently get it in there. Just feed it in slowly. I've heard a lot of stories about hydrolocking, but if you do it the way I'm explaining here, you really won't have a problem. Now the idea behind this is that the water um, goes into the actual combustion chamber and steams the piston head and everything around it really. Um, but yeah, this, this is the theory behind it and every time I've used it I've also I've always noticed an increase in power, more responsive and just generally idles more better. Um, if you was, if you actually, um, the camera doesn't really pick it up very well but towards the end the car is a lot more raspier and it's, and it's, you know, it responds a lot quicker than it did before. So, like I say, just take your time and um, squirt your cleaner into there, uh, or water, distilled water. You can use tap water, but, you know, distilled water is probably better. So, um, yeah, that's it. Every time I've used it, like I said before, I always get a much more responsive vehicle and... Um, yeah, it always works really well for me. So I would advise to try it. Okay, just giving you a quick look inside the throttle body around the edges where the dirt and the grime builds up. This is all just stuff that's escaped from, you know, the, the, the filter itself and in and around it. Now, what I would say is, is just take your time with this method as usual, be safe. Um, I, would, I don't use no more than about a pint, a pint of water, you know, don't use no more than that, but you do it until you're happy, but I wouldn't use no more than a pint, and take your time doing this as well, just, just take your time as you see me doing it in the video. Afterwards, I would advise go for a good run, don't kill your car, but just go for a good run, you know, just, just, just give it a bit of a run, and just see what you can blow out the back. Um, but yeah, that's it, just be careful, do it properly, and um, enjoy it. You could just hear how much raspier and thicker and how, how much better it sounded. So, try it, like I always say. <laughs> so we've got a new decarbonizer fluid that we're using at the moment. I have to say it's fantastic, it's excellent. Um, really, really good. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you what it's done, yeah? Show you how hard it works on the carbon. Can you see that in there? Can you see how clean that is? Where well, I've been spraying all the decarbonizer in there. See how clean that is? Absolutely fantastic. Excellent product. Um, as usual, you know, I stand by the decarbonization. Um, it's a water-based uh, decarbonizer, so it's not got no 
hydrocarbons in it because fundamentally hydrocarbons is what creates carbon you know you won't get no carbon if so you wouldn't get no carbon build up if you didn't use hydrocarbons that's why when people use water uh, methanol injection they don't get no carbon build up they're, they're, everything inside is pretty clean so what I want to say is that stuff over there where is it that stuff over there is fantastic it looks like what comes out of you but it's not um, but yeah I don't I don't I don't you all in on me oh, damn. but yeah um, it's an excellent it's a very 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 good thing to do to your car especially part of a service after a service or before a service whatever you want to do so hope that helps there's the sun hope that helps can't really subscribe I think I need a haircut thanks for watching